In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how we could add a link which allows us to visit one page from another page. So over here we have the home page and if we go to forward slash dashboard, we have the dashboard page. But in order to visit the dashboard page, we actually have to manually update the URL in the browser. But now let's learn how we could go ahead and visit the dashboard right from this home page which we have up over here. So in case of regular HTML, what we do is whenever we have to add links, we simply use the ahref tag. So if you could go to the home page here, what you would simply do is you would say ahref and you would simply pass in the link of the page which we want to link to. However, in case of React, in order to add a link which takes us from one route to other route, we need to make use of the link component and the link component actually belongs to the React router DOM. So here what we wish to do is on this home page right here, we want to add a link which allows us to visit the dashboard. So in order to add that particular link, first of all, we'll import the link component. So I would import the link component from React Router DOM. And once we have that component, I could make use of that component here. So I could say link, the opening and the closing tag. And here we could actually say something like home. So if you do that here, as you can see, now we have this home in terms of a hyperlink. But if I click on that, we are not redirected anywhere as of now. And this should actually be dashboard because we actually want to visit the dashboard from the home page. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's make this particular link functional by adding an actual link to it. So when you create a link component, you also have to go ahead and mention where this link should redirect to or to which route this link should redirect to. So in this particular case, we want to make this link redirect to the forward slash dashboard route. So in order to go ahead and do that to this particular link component, you need to pass in to as a prop. So here I would say to and here I actually need to go ahead and set it to forward slash dashboard and once we do that now this link would be functional so if i go ahead and click on dashboard here as you can see it actually took us to the route which is forward slash dashboard and the page over here changed as well so this is how you could go ahead and make use of the link component in order to link between multiple pages in a single page react application. Now you could do the same thing with this dashboard page as well. So on the dashboard page, you could go ahead and you could create a link which takes you back to the home page. So here let's make use of the link component. So make sure that it is imported from react router DOM. And in here you just say home. And now if you click on this, nothing happens. That is because we need to link it back to the home. And here I would say two equals and the route for the home page is nothing but just the forward slash. So here I would say link to forward slash. So if I now go ahead, click on this one, as you can see, now it takes us to the home page and this takes us to the dashboard. So this is how you could go ahead and add links. Now here, having links on every single page is what we want. So rather than adding links on every single page, let's actually go ahead and let's create a navigation bar, which contains the links to all the pages which we have in our application. So in order to do that, you could create your very new component here. So let me go ahead and let me create a new component called as nav. So I would go inside the source folder and create a component called nav.jsx. So export default function nav, make this thing return a div. And this particular component is only going to have links, which is going to link us to multiple pages. So over here, I would go ahead and create a link component. Let's create a link for home. And then the next link is going to be for the dashboard. So this link is point to the path, which is just a forward slash. And the link to this is going to point to a path, which is forward slash dashboard. Once we have this nav component, now I could go ahead and make use of that nav component in the home page as well as the dashboard. So what I could do now is I could go to the dashboard here, remove this already existing link and also do the same thing with this as well. That is remove the link here. And instead I could go ahead and add a nav component here. So you could either add nav component here, but if you add a nav component here to the home page and the dashboard, uh, that would be a repetition of code. 
So instead of adding them individually to every single page which you have, what you could also do is you could actually add that particular nav components to your main app.jsx itself. So over here after creating the browser router, you could say something like, all right, I want to add a nav component here. And if you do that, now as you can see, if you are on the home page, this nav is visible. If you go to the dashboard, this nav is still visible. So in this particular manner, you could go ahead and create a navigation bar and kind of go through multiple pages which you might have in your single page React application. So this is how you could create routes. This is how you could link pages by using the link component. But now we also have to learn how exactly we could go ahead and implement nested routes. So let's say for example, let's suppose on the dashboard, I actually want to create two more pages like the profile page and the settings page. And for the profile page, the URL is going to be dashboard forward slash profile. And for the settings page, I want the URL to be dashboard forward slash settings. So how exactly could we go ahead and create such pages and create such routes? So these kinds of routes are called as nested routes. So let's learn how exactly we could create nested routes in the next lecture.